idea of the trip of three, four hundred miles or something I think it is all up. Just leaving the yacht club. It's, uh, behind us over here. And I've literally been going for uh, two minutes now, so it's quarter past nine on Sunday morning. And we're gonna do a few hop, skip and jumps. Littleton to Accra, Accra, Timaru, Timaru, Dunedin, Dunedin to Bluff on the truck into the lake. So, um, time to get going. I've only been going a couple of hours, but thought uh, having topped up all the fluids before I left Littleton, now would be a good time just to take a bit of a break, hop into Le Bon's Bay, and back the engines back, check all the fluids, make sure the header tanks are all good and the oil's good and stern tubes, drippers, and uh, make sure everything's hunky dory before I head back out and continue. Here we are arriving through the heads of Vakaroa. It's only taken six hours to get around here. Thought with the weather so nice it'd be a great opportunity to put the drone back up and get some nice photos of Alice. We've also managed to capture the uh, dolphins on the bow. Took the opportunity while it was calm to stop Alice for a bit and just tidy a few things up, get the lines ready for when we get to the wharf and got the fenders on the side ready to kick over. So everything's nice and ready to go. I found myself a nice spot um, tied up in Akara at the main wharf so I'll stay here the night, grab some fish and chips and try and get some sleep ready for tomorrow's leg. It's 4.30 in the morning and we're just pulling away from the wharf at um, Akara. So. Now it's time to make our way to Timaru, which is a leg two of the trip.
So we finally made it into Timaru and the 90 mile trip has taken exactly 12 hours so it gives an average speed of uh, 7.5 knots an hour so now it's um, time to refuel so I'll head over to Sanford's fishing wharf and refuel Alice as you can see it's taken 166 litres so we've managed to do 6.9 litres an hour per engine which is pretty good for a coastal trip